Hello everybody, Grace still plays and we're back with more of the long dark. This time we're going to be doing the impossible rescue. I'm sorry, the hopeless rescue. I guess impossible and hopeless are pretty darn similar. The hopeless rescue challenge. Are you the last person alive? You have to know. If only you could get a signal out to someone. So we have to recover the distress pistol, pistol from the summit of Timberwolf Mountain and then fire it from atop the Desolation Point Lighthouse for intermediate players. What was this one for? For experienced players. I have a feeling this one's actually going to be a little bit harder. Or, I mean, it just feels that way because I think we have to go through, like, four maps in order to get to Desolation Point. I mean, feel free to let me know if I'm wrong, but I think you have to go to... from Timberwolf Mountain to Pleasant Valley to... What else do you have to do? Coastal Highway to Desolation Point, I think. This is probably going to be a challenge that I will have to look at a map for. Let's go ahead and start right into this. Let's go get with our man, Will Will McKenzie, or whatever his name is. Ray still lives. Still going. Still kicking. Except, am I the last person alive? Am I going to get like get the hell kicked out of me in the first couple of seconds? What's this beginning like? All right. No. What the hell? What is this? What? Oh, we start from the trapper's cabin? We don't even start from... We don't even start from, uh... Timberwolf Mountain? Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a long-ass trek. I think we have to do this in seven days, too. Hold on, I didn't look I didn't look hard enough. What kind of stuff do we have? Uh wow, our equipment is absolute garbage. And we have almost nothing. We have a bedroll, one flare, a tinder plug. Good god. Alright, I guess we'll just start grabbing everything. Oh, a snare, we're not gonna be hanging outside long enough to actually use that. Snares are good if you play just the sandbox version. Oh, there's goodies laying around all over the place. Let's grab all of this. Rifle cleaning kit, sure. Hopefully we can get a rifle this time. If there's a rifle anywhere, I imagine it's in here. A bunch of matches. Oh, yeah. Candy bar, sewing kits. Anything else around here? No. Some newsprint. More sardines. Ah, rifle ammunition. Very good. If you're playing the normal... Uh, sandbox version you can kind of like bed down I think this way you can kind of bed down and lay some snares where you can see rabbits Jesus all right let's try that one more time I think all you have to do is pass the zero so it's 14 is it there we go 14 three <laughs> what else this is the hardest mini game in the long dark because you need patience, and I don't have very much of it. There we go. All right, what do you keep in your safe, sir? Perhaps a nice jacket? Nobody needs this anymore. Wow, Warren Expedition, Parker. I've never even heard of this. Looks nice, though. Oh, a flare shell and an extra rifle round. Man, that Parker looks pretty darn good. Let's check this thing out. I have never found a Parker yet. Oh, the finest materials. So how do you fix this thing? We can't repair it because we don't have enough cloth. That's fine. We'll we'll break down some crap. Check out what's in the first aid kit here. Another sewing kit. More antiseptic. I love me some antiseptic because I'm sure we'll be getting all kinds of light lacerations. Locked, huh? All right. Tinder plug, bandage, antiseptic, some reclaimed wood. Eh, I'll grab it. Ooh. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff over here. More herbal tea couple of containers, a whole slew of containers under the bed. Man, this guy, this guy's packing everything under here. Wool hat, I don't even know if we have a hat. Probably put that on. A storm lantern. Sounds like crap outside. Four hours of daylight left. A little firewood because we are not really carrying very much right now. So I guess there's no reason not to grab that. We've got lantern fuel hanging around up here in this jerry can. No rifle. Because this thing is locked, and there does not appear to be a pry bar anywhere in sight. Now we can go ahead and grab this real quick and turn this thing on, because the jerry can should provide us oh, more firewood. I'll grab all that stuff. 
Just want to make sure I'm not missing a pry bar in any of these little nooks and crannies. Now, this game just had a update come out. And in the update, oh, another rifle round. And in the update, they increased the light inside of houses and stuff. So you can see it is much brighter in here than normal. And I really, really appreciate that. But now that I know that we're starting in Mystery Lake, first things first, we're going to have to get to Pleasant Valley. Outside we go. Not really sure what it looks like outside, and I don't really care because, as I remember, I'm pretty sure this is a timed thing, or at least I remember it being timed. 10 degrees out, negative 10 degrees outside, awesome. All right, let's get moving. Ow. That's awesome. So I tore my clothing, I got bruising, and I sprained damn near everything. How did this. Uh, how did this happen? Well, I know exactly how this happened. That's what I was talking about. When I had said, do not jump. Well, I, you don't, can't jump in the game. I should say, don't fall any any distance. Oh, look at this. There's crow feathers in this game. That's interesting. Pick up all those. Could get some meat from him, but quite frankly, it is so damn cold outside that there's just not any time for it. So six days, 23 hours remaining. Now, is that for the entirety of this challenge or is that just for getting the pistol, I wonder? I really don't know. Do we have any pills? We don't. I sprained my wrist and my ankle. So I've sprained almost everything. That's great. And holy crap, it is windy as all get out. Let's grab a flare here just in case we come across any wolves. Because I'm pretty sure we're still going to be in stalker mode. That is a wolf right there, actually. And, and if we head this way, I'm pretty sure that we'll come up to um, the train tracks. And when we do that, we just have to follow it. As usual, we'll be heading toward the the uh, the dam, the the Carter Dam. We'll pass by the cabin first. And that'll be probably our place of respite in the meantime. Max might be down there, but quite frankly, with the amount of time that we don't have, I really don't care. Although a hatchet would be pretty good, I guess. Oh, actually, Max, are you down here, buddy? Looks kind of like you are. Oh, there he is. Max's last stand. What do you have for me, my brother? Oh, it's only eight, negative eight degrees now. Let's take a look. You don't have jack crap. Except for some Stacy's grape soda. Thank you, Stacy, for sharing your soda with me. More crow's feathers. Don't mind picking these up. Yeah, I know. You're moaning and groaning because you ended up spraining damn near everything, falling a couple of feet. Oh, well. Nice walking simulator now, since we can't sprint. No pills in the trapper's cabin either. Not too happy about that. Keep on walking here. Yeah. Well, you were not gonna die from a sprained ankle and a sprained wrist. So don't give me that. Come on, buddy, hobble along. We've got a lot of walking to do. Especially because we need to get to those train tracks. Actually, I can probably move at a slight angle and still be okay. Is that a limb up ahead, or is that an injured person? That looks like a person, because you can always see the crows. The crows will hang out above dead folks. More crow's feathers. These feathers, you can use them to make arrows. If we ever get to that point. Oh, what kind of sweater was that? Let's check that out real fast. Heavy wool sweater. Oh, this is substantially better. Oh, let's wear this hat, too. There we go. Doesn't feel quite as cold now. More crow's feathers. I think I see the cave-in up ahead. We might as well loot that. So, the timeline... Is this like a realistic timeline in the game? Or, yep, this is a realistic timeline. So it's six days in the game, and time goes very, very fast in the game. Keep trucking toward this collapse. If I wanted to decrease my time as much as possible, I would probably just head straight for the encampment. But there might be a few things here that would help us survive. Plus, every once in a while, you can find a first aid kit on the ground. 
just by going near these train areas. Right over here, I see a couple of things. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's just something clipping through the ground. Nothing we can use. Yes, there's a first aid kit. Maybe it'll have some painkillers. Even if it does have painkillers, I probably won't use them for this. I imagine we can make it there without an issue. Emergency stim, huh? Another sewing kit. Man, what's with these first aid kits and sewing kits? I mean, is that really what... <laughs> Is that really what most people have trouble with? That they need first aid? Uh, alright. Another piece of firewood. I guess you never know, right? I see a dead person over here. We are pretty darn cold, though. We are going to need... We are go... Yeah, I know. We're gonna need to get to a place... Oh, what is this? Another hunting knife. Alright. Can never have too many knives, especially when there's this many wolves around. Really? Fishing tackle. Not like, not that we have any time to fish. Another thing, again, if you're playing on sandbox mode, fishing is a great way to stay alive. Although fish are the most weight per calories that you can get uh, as a food source. So not really the best per se, if you wanna move around and everything. I think like a fish is, for every kilogram, it's only like maybe 400 calories compared to 800 from deer 700 from wolves and I think bear is 900 I'm pretty sure if you ever do kill a bear by the by you get a lot of meat I mean a lot of meat I would say 30 kill 30 to 40 kilograms of meat if you can kill a bear it's a lot like seriously I've never used an emergency stim in this game yet I just haven't had really an an instance where I felt it was an absolute necessity, so I'm not really exactly sure what it does. When we come up here, we may need to hide inside of this train car, although the camping lodge should be pretty darn close to it. As I understand, if you take the stim, it kind of like increases your speed and all there have you. I guess it's like a shot of adrenaline or something. Although I'm not really exactly sure if that's what adrenaline would do in real life. I've never really shot myself up with a bunch of it. Oh, there's a stag ahead of us. Ooh, actually, I wonder, is this the break to the cabin? Because that stag usually hangs out right in front of the cabin. So this might be it, guys. We may have reached the cabin, and if so, that is excellent. Because eventually we're going to have to put our head down in order to regain our our ankle and our wrist. First aid. Yep, there's the cabin. Good to see, too. Just in the nick of time. It feels kind of good not being chased around by a bear, I'm not going to lie. The whole bear thing, constantly wondering if I, we were going to get eaten every 10 seconds wasn't the best way to play the game. But I got to tell you, if you're going for a challenge standpoint, it was pretty damn fun. Sometimes there's a dead guy over here. Not today, though, huh? All right. There's the ice fishing huts if you ever want to do some fishing. Let's go ahead and get inside here. You can see when you walk against the wind, it slows you down a lot. All right. We discovered the cabin, and yes, it is way lighter in here than it usually is. Man, there's lanterns everywhere! Well, these lanterns are a dime a dozen now. Before, we couldn't get enough. Now... We got lanterns hanging out all over the place. Let's go ahead and light this thing up. There's no reason not to use it now that we have two lanterns and a jerry can full of fuel. More sewing kits inside the damn first aid. Urgh. Give me some give me some antibiotics or something. Newspaper print, huh? All right, I'll take it. More matches, more accelerant. No food though. Curious. Not a not a lick. Not a morsel. Nothing. How about over here? Oh, pork and beans? Pork and beans. I'll take it. Pinnacle peaches too, along with some more bandages. Cloth. All right, basic gloves. I'm not even sure that we have any gloves. This game really doesn't outfit you for the cold in the beginning. You have to make sure to find a, to find a structure fast. Just check under these steps. Yeah, all right, nothing under the steps at all. Oh, was there... Was there something over here, or was it just a shadow? That was a shadow. Upstairs we go. Maybe there's something better up there. 
Yeah, keep moaning and groaning about your ankle. Hey, there's a dead guy in here! Excuse me, sir, while I rifle through your pockets. And speaking of rifling through your pockets, thank you for that rifle round. Ha ha ha! Oh, yeah. How about over here? I see a magnifying glass in the right part of the screen underneath that bed right there, if you guys can make that out. Fleece sweater will be ripping that apart. Magnifying glass, sure, I'll take it. We don't have enough crap right now. Oh, a bedroll. We are going to shred the living balls out of that. A book, a cupboard, anything good in here? Eh, chocolate bar, all right. It's something to snack on, more gloves. Right now, actually, food is kind of the thing that we don't really have much of. Anything under this bed? Nothing, nothing under this bed either. All right, let's turn this thing off. First things first, we gotta break down all the crap we don't need. Uh, we are not using gloves at all, and these are both just gloves, aren't they? Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and put on these gloves. Let's rip this stuff apart. Remember, guys, to turn off your lantern when you're doing this. Otherwise, the lantern will be burning the whole way. Fleece sweaters are crap. We're going to go ahead and harvest that. And we'll be doing this because we're going to need to go to sleep in just a little minute here, it looks like. Another fleece sweater. No reason to keep that around. Man, I can't wait to get this parka up to 100%. That's going to help us a bunch, especially considering we ended up, you know, falling like 35 inches and almost breaking our legs. Let's go over here to the bedroll. We have two of them now. Oh, this bedroll is crap. Go ahead and harvest that. 10 cloth. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what we need. 98% condition still. Looks like it's not going to go up until we actually fix our ankle. How are we doing on the food department? Man, we got a ton of soda. Go ahead and drink some of it, actually. This is a fantastic diet that we have right now. Stale chocolate bars and soda, whatever. I'm gonna eat this chocolate bar before it gets any worse. Don't wanna get food poisoning from it. Let's move over here. And now we can start fixing everything. Let's go ahead and repair this. We've got like 30 sewing kits at this point no big deal all right a nice failure there come on let's make this work guys get all the way through is i think is usually if you get ha at least halfway through you'll get there yes 100 percent. look at that now we're feeling great holy crap that's what i'm talking about let's fix this stuff up only need one cloth for this we still i'm pretty sure we have plenty of cloth i'm not too worried about it looks like it's nice and dark outside as well 51 percent. let's keep her going Seven hours of darkness left. That's going to be perfect. We'll be able to get at least ten hours of sleep. Although it'll probably wake us up after eight or nine. But we'll be able to sleep a little bit, rest a little bit, and then by the time we're done, it should be nice and sunny outside. Ragged jeans. Great. Nope, not harvest. Don't do that. Don't harvest your pants. I don't want to be walking around in just a pair of boxer briefs or something. Let's stitch these jeans right up. There we go. 53%. That's crap. Keep it going. We're going to have to have another little drink here in a minute. Go ahead and get these up to 83%. Grab another delicious soda. Mm, high fructose corn syrup. Love it, Summit. Keep making those sodas for us. We could always use them. I don't know why I keep getting out of the menu there. Um, what else can we increase? Yeah, everything is pretty much just beat to hell. Worn thermal underwear. Let's go ahead and fix that as well. We're going to want everything as warm as possible for the next piece of our trek because since we are timed... We, I mean, pretty much, like, storm or not, we're going to have to keep moving every single day. So it's my hope that a blizzard never moves in, so to speak. Don't get too tired yet, buddy. We've got more, we've got more fixings to do. Can't fix those because we don't have any cured leather, but we can fix this sweater probably one more time and get it up to 100%, ju just about. And you can see that really increased our feels like now. We're at 8 degrees Celsius inside. That's fantastic. Pretty hungry, though. Mmm, sardines. We've been eating soda and sardines, the breakfast of champions. We don't have any. We do not have any water. So part of our day tomorrow is going to be using our... All this firewood that we collected. We should have quite a bit, actually. A couple sticks, a little bit of this. Yeah, we got a couple pieces of firewood. We're going to have to melt down some water. That's going to use up some of our time, but what can you do? A drink. Yeah, I know, buddy. Don't worry about it. We'll get it to you. We'll get it to you in the morning. Anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying this hopeless rescue so far. Things are looking pretty hopeless so far, especially after I injured myself in almost every way possible in, like, the first 20 seconds of the game. Until the next time, though, stay foxy and much love.